Thank you very much, Paula. Yes, uh, it is a pleasure to have you with us on the desk. And we are excited to bring you this one because a lot on the line. Monacy equals money, and absolutely right from Maui. The investment needs to yield results, but you also have something to consider on Astralis. Zipix is the last remaining player in the history of the Katowice event to play on the stage each and every year. That legacy might come to an end right now, as well as Astralis being a staple of the teams that have been here. Yeah, Astralis has made top six every Katowice they've played in. So for an organization as well, a lot of history that could go down the drain. That would be heartbreaking, but equally, as they mentioned, G2, this is for a team that's built to win championships. To not make the playoffs here would be real painful. Astralis on the T side pressuring through Donut. They're going to get into the eight bomb site. Lucky deep smoke towards CT spawn. That's going to block off Hunter. And early on, he's been gushed. We've got a five on five retake. There is a kit on to Alexi B, but this is going to be oh so tough. Tough indeed. Nico trying to work his way back in from the tunnels as Monacy already in middle. Swings around. It's Alexi B that's ready on the inside of the smoke, trying to fight forward and hold off. Rotations buy more time for that bomb. They give up the first kill, and hello, Monacy. He'll get two. And it's going to be a now very formidable formation for G2 surrounding the site, trying to get back to that bomb. Lucky good for only one. Jackson Hunter immediately take down both. He did excellent in this position yesterday on Ancient Against Ents that we watched. Again, might be able to cut this off. So Hunter and Jax have a huge job to do, and Config's going to be able to wrap behind him. Honestly's falling back with that up right now. The timing might be perfect for him to catch this, but Config is waiting. This is everything. This battle with Hunter as the smoke fades, and he gets nothing. Jax with the FAMAS. Uh, there's no way he gets more than two. Oh, my God, Jax. He's done it. He's won. Lucky, he's, won. he's done it all. Four kills for Jax. What a stud. That's ridiculous. Astralis will be kicking themselves now. They need Jack's up above, three to come in in front of him. Close angle, has to be quick about his positioning. He's got the first already, headshot lineup, MP9 goes to work, Lucky swings out, close shot. Makes no mistake on it, but it still is costly at this point in time for the execution. Flash, Monacy unable to spot any further, has Hunter at least covering off his left side, good Molotov, and they couldn't catch him as he fell back inside of the smoke, but he has to rotate in through the temple. Hunter, though, was never dealt with, never checked. Jumps on top of the sign. Self-boost position to get on top of that ledge, and he doesn't go all the way around, but still gets found. Zipix gets the headshot instead, and it falls back to a two-man remaining situation. Look at Nico finally rotating over from B, because Alexi's in Donut. You cannot rotate back through middle. They are locked, despite that Nico is that far away. They have to fight forward. No smoke. Ledge angle. Easy shot. Alexi B. Blame F's going to try and take the same fight in return. Knows that Monacy's somewhere toward the monastery, but he will go ahead and find the shot instead. Which is why they've now smoked that off. That forces Jax forward, and Config, again, is taking so much map control. Yeah, but this might be actually a curse, because they're going to have to fall back in an eco. Great kill from Glaive. That's everything. But two players over in Donut, and now they're aware of Config, but Hunter's lying in wait. They're not going to check this. Oh, my God. Oh, he went for the first. He went for the bomb. He still swings and gets two. Trigger discipline might be better to do. <laughs> not if you're Hunter. Once more, he shuts down B. Rather, A as I still will continue to confuse the two. I'm confused as to how he doesn't possibly get taken out after the fact. There's a smoke down, self-preservation. Config at least tries to recover the bomb. He puts it on the deck and knows he needs to clutch once more. Same situation, you're right, Jason. They might have thought there was far too much open available on that side of the map. He did well to turn around and cover off by getting a single pick, but where was the other player in rotation? Config didn't have the information, and they're gonna hold this. They're on the defuse. Hunter's on this. He has absolutely no idea. He's too far removed. Hunter's low, four HP. A Fraction, a fragment of the bullet, and the kills come later. Point of contact, spam coming through. Hits Config, who's playing a dangerous game, down to 57 health. They still haven't noticed Alexi B. And Nico might be taking all the attention if they eventually want to clear this position out. Oh, there it is. Good find. Config slips up for the attack. And now Alexi B can be sprung. They do have a Molotov down. Blame F gonna hold clear it. Nico comes in late, grabs one more traded. But it's worth three on two. Very costly. Jax is pushing all the way through A to try and get to middle as quickly as possible to try and close in on Astralis and limit their options on the map. Force them to have to fight against Monacy and Hunter. Single smoke down front side of cave. Monacy's playing on the pillar. Confident so far that a single smoke outside of Jaguar will buy him some time. 
can't hit the shot. Lucky nails him. AK to win it. Hunter still, though, again, the one to stand tall, but it comes to a one-on-one. -on -one. Blame F. Three kills in the round, down to 31. We said Jackson pushed out early. He's going to go for the flank. Blame F has a smoke that he'll fortunately fade inside it before Jax arrives on the corner. But he has absolutely no information as to where the CT player is. He will very conservatively and cautiously check toward the CT lane. And fortunately for him, he's I don't... able to get further away. This isn't exactly planted for him. But he has at least isolated the angles and figured out the position. Risky on low HP to keep searching, but gets away with it. Nostralis. Zipix to lead through cave. Lucky behind with bomb. It's Alexi B. All on Alexi B. Hunters found one in middle. Config was holding to see if they would re address that position and try and reclaim the territory. Instead, now they're going to rotate all the way back toward the CT lane. And Alexi B still alive in this. Too slow from Astralis. Little do they know they had the site open if they'd just gone for the trades on him. And now they're surrounded. Jack's even going for the full flank. And he might have the time if they can't continue to fight forward. Lucky with the first kill now. Bomb not yet planted. 22 seconds. Do they run this? Do they make it? Yeah, I mean, this is their only option. I don't know if they're going to make it because you can see, I think Monacy is going to be able to beat them and especially Hunter is going to be very, very close. 10 seconds. I don't know if they have the time. They can maybe get the bomb plant, but can they actually protect the planter enough? The answer is probably going to be no. G2 going to oh, press lucky. the issue. Yeah, they've just killed everyone except for the planter. Nice and easy. Yeah, they're getting a little bit of money for it, but yeah, they had no chance. <laughs> that sucks. That's just right through the boards. Good kill from Glaive. Config again going to challenge. He's found some success here. Molotov in towards Temple. Jax is past it. Hunter's going to be wrapping around the smoke, and they know more than anything it's usually just Config, so that's an educated guess for Hunter to come through that smoke, trusting that he's the only one there. G2 have handled a very dangerous part of this Astralis attack. Now all that's left is the B hit and Alexi B. Alexi, hold B. Okay, Google. Likes to be forced back inside of Smoke Glaive. Gets the shot through it. Got the lineup. Bomb's going to be planted as a result of it. That's the counterintuitive spam in return, isn't it? I think Alexi was just side of the pillar. Too dedicated to the nade there. Gets him killed. Flashback out. It holds Hunter in the corner, but it's not him they have to worry about. Jack stepping wide is able to find Lucky trying to be a forward angle and cover off the CTs. All three from the same position. Got a little bit to work with. All three with kits. They have the armor. They've... Got AKs, which is fantastic for a CT side, but they've used all of the utility. It doesn't matter if they get the kills. Glaive holding on barely, clutching at his life with 9 HP. He'll fire through the wooden wall, but on the wrong side of the pillar. Oh, no. Nico, no, he's not. He's actually in the open, and he just stays alive. He just avoids the bullets, and it was quite the line. Basic elimination. World number two already out in Zaiwu, and Astrala is such a legacy team at this event with the last remaining Spodic survivor, shall we say, or Spodic soldier. Ooh. For Zipix, speaking of, he's managed to push forward. Now they have a chance in this because Hunter down. They're going to get a bomb plant. Lob nade to Glaive. He'll catch it. Put it in his pocket. Lose a lot of HP and be left with 15. As a result of it, so the reload not timed well for Alexi B. Now Astralis coming alive. That's not bad. But yeah, the circumstances of these two juggernauts battling out for the last spot available on the stage is rather dramatic and nerve-wracking on both sides. It's a nice little pace change out of the timeout. G2 caught sleeping. Not only that, but how many times do you see just a double? Getting a lot of credit. No one has come into Counter Strike at this age, and as a rookie with so much hype, aside from Zaiwu, but still needs to be coaxed. I saw them between the games, you know, his teammates patting him on the back, saying, "Don't worry, you got this." You know, picking him up. He's still a young player without confidence, and it's the same for Lucky on the other side. They've been saying they're trying to create him space and make him feel comfortable in this event. So the AWP so far haven't come on. Lucky has. Glaive gets the third, but yeah, Lucky's doing it with all the other weapons too. With the USP, Nico's going to respond to take his head clean off, and we know Nico's so deadly, even though it was a one on three. But with Glaive staring him down, nowhere to go. Good pistol round, good follow-up from Config in mid. Exerting his force on the map, finding an opening kill. Blame F's going to get aggressive, but he gets his head taken off. Drive-by from Alexi B. Alexi B's not done there either. Still a bit of gas in that car. It's not a hit and run. He's hit and not done, but he's going to get shut down. Zipix with the double, MP9, build up some cash. Money, money, baby. Bringing back my tagline for this one, Jason. Is that your tagline? Yes. <laughs> Nico, there it is. There, you can almost see that coming. Oh. And now he's got an M4, and they know there's a low HP, low HP player inside the caves. That would have been a huge win. That might have been the round. As it is, you mentioned the two young players, Monacy with a chance. Monacy to push forward. Glaive's low HP as well. Deagle to find him. Misses the first shot, and that's enough for Glaive to get the spray down. 
not distracted by the shrapnel. This is interesting. Don't oh. see this often enough. Glavie's in the secondary lane at the A approach, and they had no idea. Jax, timing is everything. Just happens to be in the right place to turn around and get Glaive because that could have been a very tense battle between the two. Yeah, but look at what this tells Zip. I mean, there's two players there. He might have even seen a third. So Zipnix closes, shuts down the map. He's, he just shrinks it so much. Now, the defense is all spread. It's one player for Astralis watching all the different choke points, so there's at least that for G2. No matter where they go, they're going to have a man advantage. Rotations can be quick, though, and the longer that this goes on, Zipnix is going to be in a much more powerful position. I thought he was going to try and shrink the trap for middle at this point. Because then there's literally no way out. They could fight through the top right now. Lucky's rotated over, but Blame F's aware of it because they smoked him off, and they aren't going that way. So Zipix will be retaking the position now lost by Config. He needs to be perfect in his timing as Lucky manages to stay alive and distract. He should be absolutely undetected. Hunter goes down. Monacy backs away. Vision on the bomb, and Blame F not heading this direction as of yet. He could wrap back down middle if Lucky calls that nothing else is going on, and they know that he's in Donut, but they'll work in a team in tandem with a smoke down instead. Oh, the gap, and Lucky's watching it very, very closely. Yeah, that's smart from Lucky. I think even Montessi even saw that gap. All you have left is Lucky. Jack stepped up big in a similar situation in the first half. They need Lucky to do the same, but he's whiffing. Zip is going to come from behind to get a double kill. That forces the bomb on Montessi forward. He's going to get a plant. Plants, undoubtedly, but Blame F is the man that's behind all of this. And they're not going to suspect Dix even when Nico turns around. Blame F, he got him. And that was in response to the fact that Monacy fell. So he does everything to leave Alexi B stuck inside of the corner. Temple doorway. Bomb is distant on the far side of the box for him, but he's got an angle if anyone dare try and cross or counter peak. AWP, fast peak, manages to get Glaive, sneaks inside the pillar, and Blame F, smoked off, will not be able to get the angle. Alexi B is actually doing enough to buy time, but not enough to shut down Zipix, who will walk in from behind and get the defuse. Astralis are going to take the lead at 11-10. Yeah, this is looking great. What a timely flank, flank from Zipix. He's playing an off angle in the corner through Cave. And I don't know that Jax will be able to check that. He's going to think he's safe to walk in. He does. Gun barrel shows, though, and that gives him a chance. But he goes down. Zipix falls. Glaive only gets one back in return on Monacy. And Nico has the AWP this time. A little bit slow on the trigger. They'll slide by. Still a two-on-two. -two. And Nico has this because of his HP. Because it's only three, there's no utility to throw in that direction. And he goes back out to absolutely annihilate Lucky. Here comes Glaive. He needs to be absolutely on it. Flash out, though. Nico's forward of it. And with three HP. He will close out the round. We go 11-11. Push back up. Glaive still checking cave. Zipix not as far forward as he was before, but tasked with the same position on the map. Sprays through the smoke. No one catching any strays that time. Jax is the one that's closest to those smokes, and he puts his out in return towards CT. Hunter starts at Glaive down. Monacy finds Lucky on the AWP, and it's Alexi B that's next up to try and clear the site. He'll swing all the way toward the cubby as the bomb gets forward, but it's lost. It's lost by Config, who comes back in to get two. Things get awkward. 14 seconds. Bomb's on the ground, and it's the young man, Monacy, once more, but Zipix will shut the door on him and make it 12-12 vision and sees no nades, no presence, no noise. Already the rotation is on to this bomb site. L Jax is going to lead the way. Lucky gets behind the site boxes, but they're under a lot of pressure here. Config with one kill. That's back towards mid. It's all going the way of Astralis now. It's turning completely in their favor. They're the ones being dynamic on the map, and G2 is shut down again. Zipix is going to march over now and try and join Config at Donut, but they're pushing through the smokes already. The battle ensues. Monacy again, left in a one-on-three. Bomb down. He's surrounded and sprayed through the smoke. Zipix will get the kill. And Astralis... Yeah, well... They'll take those. Just another thing going wrong for G2. Yeah, exactly. Well, they're going to try everything. Look at this. They've been held off so many times in this position. It seems like a place that should be by default terrorist territory. And they have to boost above the doors and the smokes to try and close it. They're trying to bait out the shots from Zipix. They will. Nico manages that at least. But what else are they going to do? Nico can get the shot. A Molotov just arrives. They're still not through the position. Gap in the smoke because of the flames. Blame F not positioned accordingly to take them down this time. But the rotations are already on the site. Glaive. Oh, oh, look. Oh, Conf Config has an op still? Yes, he does. Absolutely. And it's map point for Astralis. You're like, ah, oh, it worked that time, huh? Out of ideas, rush B. Here we go. Jack's going to lead the way. Can't find the first kill. Alexi with the MAC-10. Blame F can only get the one, but it's Nico. It's a big scalp to take. And Glaive steps up next, and he's got a fully blind frag onto Alexi. That should be the end of it. One more time. Modesty, a one versus three clutch on hand. 
You don't expect him to get those all the time, do you? Bucky's already staring him down. Astralis with a brilliant comeback. It was eight to nothing for G2, but as soon as they won their first round, they could only manage four more on the G2. Despite some of the deficiencies that we've seen, was not gonna go down without a fight. That's a great confidence-inspiring win for Astralis on the opening map of Ancient. But now here, I think some of the issues that plague G2 on Ancient will not be here on Dust2. Config's gonna get aggressive though again, and he's found the headshot. Oh boy, Config and, and heating up into the series. Not only that, he finds a headshot, he finds Monacy, who's the young man, the inexperienced guy who is gonna be thriving on confidence, and already he's getting shut down. He's going, God damn, is this tier one? Is this what I'm dealing with now? Like, Config is just relentless. He has been so aggressive this whole game. Yeah, but that's a good find for Jax in mid. They actually, everyone from Astralis after that kill gets pulled towards the B bomb site, and Config unaware is that Jax could be lurking up towards the top. He's gone out towards long now, the safety. I don't know if him and Blim have spotted each other. Two players at the A bomb site to deal with. Shots out, Zipix makes contact, checks to be sure that Long is clear before sneaking to the opposite side of the box. Meanwhile, Glaive and Lucky have left the B site. They're aware that this is going to be an A hit, that they are on the catwalk position, even though there's a minute to play with. Glaive jumping up, takes out Nico. They were turning back. They were looking for it. They were ready. Hunter's going to recover the bomb, but not the round. Zipix on top of the site. Delivery. Smokes, a flashbang, and a Molotov. But you just know Glaive sitting at the double doors is going to have a very fast flank. Glaive going to check out the Molotov. I think it's going to be a little bit late. Flashbang as well goes out. They turn from it. Jax, he was great with the Deagle on Ancient. He delivers again here on Dust2. Beautiful headshot through the edge of the smoke. Bomb site access is opened. One at long to deal with. One flank and catwalk oh so quickly. Glaive's locked out by smoke, though. He's made his presence known, firing in with that UMP. Lucky's the closest. Barrel's position, sees the shoulder, dancing, baiting, being shot. Not even sure where from. That by space, but it's all on to Jax. He started this off with the Deagle, one HP. He manages to find oh! Lucky, and he nails Glaive. Oh, baby, Jax is the dude, one to one. No smoke down yet towards CT. They're gonna try and find the picks toward B with Jax leading the way in the AK. Smoke goes out late, they'll cross over. Doors smoked off as well. They'll get closer to the window. Nico gets the opening kill. Glaives on the back of the site. Nico finds that as well. And it's a brilliantly placed shot on the AK that will allow the bomb plant and a save called all ready for Astralis. This was a bonus round as well for G2. They didn't invest into this other than what they already had. Did Config just try and come through that smoke at double doors to try and make a play through it outside of mid? That's, that's very ambitious. It's shut down and completely. It's gonna be four to one. Yeah, that's that's great from G2. Just march in and take mid and just execute off that B split. A nice explosion as soon as the utility goes down. They're hunting as well. This is a nasty little crossfire, but it is checked. It is cleared, and that means the other half of it has to slip away and hide. They now have the information. Blame F is up in the bomb site. Nade is just gonna tickle Nico. And they're gonna continue pushing forward. Now Zipnix is known as well. Good kill from him. That's what we saw in Ancient as well. An aggressive. Defense from Astralis across the map, away from the action, to shrink things down to have fast flanks. It was brutal. G2 had no answer for it. We'll see if Glaive has an impact here. Nico crouching underneath the smoke. He was spotted, but the shot didn't land. Good headshot. The off, though, holding the angle. There's the flashbang. One at railing with an M4, and Nico's got another. I don't know if he realized Zipnix was here. He's looking for one more. Zip. Waiting for it. And he's got the headshot on Nico. Monacy now. Bomb goes down. So does he. It's all on Jax. Does he have another clutch in him? He's got the timing. He's gonna get checked. Zipix is aware of it. He's gonna shut him down this time. And Zipix on Dust 2 has always been pretty damn good. Called. It's gonna be a brawl. Both teams heading to the corner. Zip drops the Molotov. They're gonna flash around the corner. They wanna fight. Nico's got one blind. Still some action though. And Blame F fights inside the flames. Crawls out into the open. It's still an op to deal with, but a two for one trade in the favor of G2 to gain control. And now the ops ring out. Now Config has to put out a smoke for his teammate. G2 have information. And there's Hunter, what a great lurk. It's not the bomb though, remember that, but it is gonna pull Config away. They're gonna take it that direction because B is such a fortified site to hold. Config's made noise. Hunter knows he's up close. I, I'm sure he did. did. He had to have heard him running and they've not. They've passed each other and the bomb is still going that direction. Monacy's running this down. Yeah, but they think they hold this. Config knows he's in there. Config knows he's gone somewhere and it's only one possibility. He will clear the site himself and uh-oh, what now? What now, Nico? Because Monacy's left alone. 58 seconds, they can still go back on this and Lucky's not spotted Nico, but could still catch the bomb. 
The timing of this round is absolutely ridiculous, oh, no. and he's made noise, Lucky can't hit it. It's the two inexperienced ops, and neither of them will drop so far. The flames to be extinguished, Lucky somehow turns around and realizes that Nico's coming from behind, drops down, and it's all on to Monacy once again. He's gonna work his way around toward Catwalk Bomb to be planted. He'll go for that immediately, knowing that they have to rotate, and Config still on Catwalk will try and get closer. Lucky has the harder job right now. From CT, down below, AWP, and Monacy knows he can get aggressive toward Catwalk, but the single shot distracts, and Config gets a rather Sniping from far away, watching the backside of that smoke. Blame F is a dead man, dare he walk that far. Instead, though, they jump up into it. Nico takes him down directly. Look at all the kills coming in. That was so calculated, so fast. I thought there was gonna be way more resistance, but obviously, I mean, Nico, I don't know what you, I don't know what more you want this man to do. <laughs> 20 and six. He is single-handedly just taking this game by control. I feel like he was like third in line. He crosses over, jumps in the box, gets a kill towards Catwalk. I think he spotted Blame F, or obviously knows the tendency of that kind of a play from the Soul Sight defender. Spams into the smoke finds him as well. Even Config just essentially has to jump and sacrifice himself just to kill Nico. Pulls him out into the open. Astralis, like, they... Strategy, right? It's everything. Like, they're not getting kills. They're not finding map control. Blame F trying to fall off the box with an MP9. Can't get it done, but does do good damage this time to Nico. Yeah, great damage. Got a little bit of a dink to it. 31 HP. We'll see if your theory comes through. If Nico gets stronger with low HP, monacy has got him covered. Molotov in, and ooh, we almost won that config down to 22 HP. But now they know the B defender's not only injured, but outside the bomb site. They have to address this quick. They have to get into this bomb site as fast as possible. Config, a little bit blind, hiding behind tall boxes. Molotov He's into done. his position. There's a nice nade, but he falls down. Blame F. SMG's not going to do the job. Fighting desperately. They've done decent damage, but now it's all on this flank from Zipix. Slows his pace at the stairs so as not to be heard. Low HP on Jax directly in front. He's on the AK. One shot, wonder. No question he can hit this. Monacy's just inside, though, and has equally low HP. So Zipix finds the first. Alexi B's preoccupied with Lucky. And Zipix is going to self-flash himself off the wall. That catches out Monacy. Deeper he gets. Alexi hits him. They crossed it over. It was actually opposite obligations. They knew they had to keep each other's back. Take control. G2 going to set up set piece behind this smoke. Counter utility reigning in. I think this access is closed. Three players here. A fourth is going to be on the way quickly. Lucky with that scout grabs one. That's Jax who falls. He grabs another with the scout and now the SMG is put into play and that's going to be everything. Monacy can only get the one. So blind. Monacy gets one. That's it. It's all on Nico. Attacked from two different angles. He can only go one for one. That's decent to do one for one in that situation. It'll still buy time and space as they rotate back around from CT. Alexi B, though, limited, and Config up Catwalk has position and control. Bomb working its way over will be thrown by Lucky because there's a gap in the smoke. Jax is, Jax is already on the long flank. He's got the shots. Bomb planted. Problem is now they're completely surrounded. Lucky has nowhere to hide, nowhere to go, and it's oh no, CT for Blameth. Second they spot that, this is already going to be diffused. There's no chance he jumps up the elevator to try and find that one. He doesn't even have an access card. Trying to do damage. Configs on 16. Remember, but oh, no. he's done better than that. Something beautiful in that config as he finds headshots with the Deagle following up. It's just so lovely to see. And now, as you say, similar to what Jax did in the first half, a Deagle for Astralis might answer back in round two. Speaking of Jax, he's on the run. Have you ever seen anything like it? I cannot believe Config just got all three of those kills. Well, he needs his confidence back, no doubt about it, in this half, because the first half, he started aggressively. The pistol round, he ran straight up middle and killed Monacy, and then we never really saw much from him until the very end of it. Well, at least he matches Jax with a Deagle, stole away the second round after Astralis' pistol round win. He does the same thing back to G2. That's massive. I, I mean, this is that's just wild he's able to get all three of those kills. G2 not able to mount enough of a Deagle. That did not. I'm surprised. These bullets. That one's going to be cut config in the shoulder. Zipix now down to 11. The damage is certainly stacking up for Monacy as he continues, and now hits Lucky. He just can't get the headshots. If this were an AWP, we'd be calling this a legendary round, but it's just not the kills that count. It is the damage, though, and Jax on the AUG, saved from the last round, might have been able to do it all. Monacy's not done. He goes back now. His early damage 
matters. He only needs the single shots, and they'll put Config on the scout instead to watch over toward Long Hunter. Deagle up close, waiting as well for the plant. Wants to try and jump up that elevator position. He's got Glaive. Config puts it back into him, but watch out, because they're both within one shot of this man, and the scout can move quickly. He can take the peaks. He's tagged down to 34 as he looks again toward the green position, the top of the bags. He gets Config through it. He's going to rotate. He's going to try and change this up on Blame F. No, he's not. Falls back, fakes away, doesn't want utility thrown his way. He's got one HP. One HP to try and take down Blame F, who's sneaking out knowing the angle spotted oh. up, and he's absolutely nailed it. So much damage on the scout. He might have been better off with the AWP, but why not 10 shots instead of five to win the round? And there's no better feeling. Than, uh, you look at the smile on his face. As well. I love that one all day. He was looking for the opportunity. Alexi goes down. They're surely going to clear Nico. They will after he gives away his position, but he's got two. Can he adjust for the third? Flashbang, and he's so blind. He's so blind. No chance. Yeah, no chance either because he had the flash out himself. Didn't even have the gun to pre-fire into that. So Blame F brings it back two versus two. Monacy has to back away from this. He's going to smoke CT. But then goes back in that direction knowing that he doesn't have the timing to get around. And it forces Zipix over because he thinks with that smoke down he can cross. That actually puts him directly into the line of fire for Jax, who now works out. If he can spot Blame F up on top right now, not only does he get the kill, I was going to say, Monacy will be on the move and try and pinch him off. Doesn't he even need to go that far. G2 finding 14, and I think we're finding Inferno very, very soon. For a second, waiting to see if there was a response to that peak. Meanwhile, though, he's going to support his teammates by putting pressure on mid. Not enough, it seems, because Hunter's still looking through the door. They do bust through and catch out Jax, but Hunter finds a second, which means there's just two left in the sight. Glaive, Monacy smartly continues to go by. He doesn't even want to sit back and fight that, knowing that Nico can cover it, and they need to control the bomb. They need to deny the plant and blind it up. Blame F, just the deagle to play with. It's going to be up against the USP, and Monacy comes out on top. Glaive from a distance. Unfortunately, with all of his pieces of the puzzle removed, it's the nucleus of the team that will fall last. And it will be quite the atomic bomb to the series at 16 to 5 for G2 in doing so. Inferno, our decider. I'm just going to get ready for that right now, Jason, because I think we are going no further here. With Safe call to HP. make at this point, Matt. Taking I a bold risk. Take the safe stepping out onto a ledge. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Nico does as well. We are done here. And I'm pretty much done with everything to say, Jason. That was a remarkable performance. Jack starts it off, Nico steps up, and then Monacy with an incredible... A Danish legacy on one side and a G2 team that has brought a lot of firepower into this squad to win trophies. So much on the line for both squads. And right out of the gates, oh, you gotta love this, Glaive jumping for the information. I don't know if he spotted the push just yet. He knows they're peeking down and, oh, they're getting assaulted. They're getting wrapped around from alternate mid from Astralis. This is gonna be tough. Config trying to battle. Blame F has gone down. Nico needs to hold. Nico needs to hold, he's got two. Ooh, the second one is a thing of beauty. And G2, it looks like they have all the advantages now. It's just Config, one versus four was a tornado of positioning as they wrapped around each other, trying to sandwich out Banana, but then the ult mid push. It all comes down to Nico with the advantage on the kills, and Config goes back toward alt middle, but guess who's there watching that? Jax. Doorway open, standing in it, nearly taken down, but gets the headshot. His aim has just been stupendous so far this series. That they had that control. Alexi B is inside of the arch, so even though Jax is covered off, he'll spray through for support. And the kills still stacking up in favor of G2. Oh, no. Aid config. Woo. Woo. Heat seeking missile. Alexi B again changing his position. Who first? Oh, he's reading it. What a god. I see that shadow. That's far too easy. That was well done. He's gonna have Alexi B closing out. This round's done. Lucky's not going anywhere except the grave. That's a lot of a lot of free upgrades. Be a little bit lucky. Defense is forced passive. I think Monacy's gonna be called upon. Right mid is smoked. How much does he want to stick around and fight at brackets? Nico and Alexi using utility to find information at Banana to try and send some intel over to their teammates. Alexi juggling grenades. That's not a fun game. He's going to transition into the bomb site as Alexi takes up wrap side defense. Molotov to slow it down to allow Alexi to get into position. It's going to be a Hall's pop. It's all on Jackson. He's been great. Nico, here's that nade. Here's the footsteps. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Oh. And perfect spray down from Jax. Triple kill. And now Nico gets activated. Now Alexi gets activated. And Astralis again is shut down entirely. They get nothing. Outrageous again. 
Busted, blinded, falling back early. Honestly, and Jax, one more time, he might have to deliver. They're gonna wrap around. Hunter's the first point of contact, and ooh, Ow. jumping tech nine, that's old school. Nico spraying it down though, is rotated back over from B and will contain the CT spawn so as to make it less of a threat. Lucky will pick up the M4 that was dropped. The other two players that are still waiting at mid for where Blame F has been holding are coming around from quad. Blame F smoked off, is only gonna have access now and it's Mona C again that's gonna shut them down from that position as he's shuffled already back inside of the site, makes no mistake, Jax from the pit. A three here last time. Lucky got Mona C in the middle of that, so hold on, because Blame F has cleared pit, he's jumped out. It's Lucky that's still alive on this, AWP in hand, but watch out as well, because I don't think he's gonna be aware that Alexi B has gone above and has walked down the hallway. No, no way to know that. Coming toward Hunter's positioning, and Nico is slowly and slyly sneaking in behind those barrels to catch them off. Lay will start it, though. He gets Hunter, so the opening pick this time does go the way of Astralis, and they are surrounding Jax. Mona C's still back in the archway, smoke off. There's one in the library, but they're gonna pass off of this. Well, the tough part now is Modesty had to evacuate through CT spawn. So, I mean, Jax is the only one here. This kills everything. This kills everything, and Jax looks away as the smoke clears. They found it, but yeah, you're right. Astralis did back away. Now they have a little bit of a, a question mark of how exactly they want to handle this situation. This is going to get a little bit weird. So much success across the map has kind of wreaked havoc on Astralis' plans, but still a massive advantage. Yeah, and they've got 50 seconds to work this. They'll leave the bomb neutrally in the middle of the map. In fact, they are going to go back. They are going to go because Zipix has grabbed it now. So Config holding Alexi B at bay, trying to get information. Double smoke down and reset again. 40 seconds. CT oh. utility is just two flashes and a nade, by the way. Monacy has both of the flashes. Well, Nico's rotating away. It's all going to be on Monacy. Monacy is... Done well in this position before, has he not? Inside of that site, Nico getting config. That's the only one on A, but they'll call the rotation, and the AWP can find nothing from the back of B. Smoke still down as well, covering off the rotation of Nico, and he'll head in toward the chapel. Not before lobbing a nade forward to the site, spraying back and forth contentiously through smoke, and Blame F will get the kill as a result. Alexi B, exit kills would do just fine here. I'm almost happy that Astralis is winning this round because that would have been a real heartbreak if they had just rotated away from like a winning position up at the A bomb site where it was only Alexi B for so long. They do eventually find it. Monacy in a position where he could only get the one behind that pillar. Actually, couldn't even get one. Well done from Astralis. Eight to one is going to be the scoreline. They're on the board. The question now is how many can they get in a row? Because as we mentioned, the money for, for G2 is obscene at the moment. It's going to take like three, three wins in a row to take this cash away. So three-man attack. And I mean, the tough part, Blame F has one of the smokes, which I think they'd love to have over at this side of the map. And they don't have a whole lot of flashbangs to make this work to force people off the angles. Config has a little bit of a stance, an angle towards the default boxes, but that's not enough to build a hit off of. Here we go. Bye bye config through the box through the head. Blame F still gonna be trying to work against Nico. Stuck side in water at this point in time. Ooh, the projector protrusion rather of that smoke actually covered him off slightly. Not spotted, and he's able to line it up as that slowly fades. Be there. Monacy's been pulled over. Alexi still has the smoke. Still has the smoke and he's on the bags. They try and boost the pump. He sees the ball coming down. And down they go as the headshot into Glaive. He smokes himself off, as you say, by some space. Zipix will get the winning kill on that exchange, but not for the round. Bombs behind them. Zipix has to go back for that. As Monacy just fires off the shots inside of the smoke. This one's done. 20 seconds. They get the bomb again. Zipix caught by Hunter. Lucky goes back, and I don't think he's got all the luck in the world could save him in this situation. Although it is a one-on-one -on, -one on either side. He could try and isolate this, but with that smoke, all they're doing is making that even longer of an exchange. Astralis recovers from this in any way. A nade barrage finds Nico. If they cannot win off that, I don't even know what to say. Alexi does go down, but it's Hunter, not Monacy, here with an AK-47. There's one. He wants more. He needs more. He's going to stick around for the fight. Now he's getting wrapped upon. Good headshot on the zip. Can't back all the way away, and we have a two-on-two. Blame F still waiting back toward Banana to see if there'll be a rotation in that direction. He can hold for the post plant with just 7 HP on the Deagle from there as it is planted default. But Glaive inside of the site, a little bit less comfortable, has a smoke he's going to sneak out from. This could be tricky because uh, you have to imagine G2 is going to assume someone is in the bomb site. Nobody is actually there. That means they're going to use utility in that direction. Monacy is already sneaking around the corner, though, not concerned with it. He's cleared, so far as he's concerned, the angles. And now the nades go out. Smoke, flash, covering out. 
Deagle's already shooting out and knowing exactly now where Blame F is. Monesty goes on to the Deagle, finds the headshot on Glavial, hold the defuse, and it can't be found. Blame F's off the angle, wrong gun to fire with, and they get the defuse. Well, I feel bad for the yeah, snack between his legs. That stomach ache's coming, boys. Get ready for it. Hunter and Nico combined for a kill, and it's all going G2's way. Two swift responses from Zip and Blame F. Lockheed goes down oh next. A bomb site is open. I think this round's over as well. Yeah, Monesty's already just taking the bomb straight to the site, jumps around. He's not even concerned of the fact that anyone's going to be inside of it. They had the information it sounds toward the bottom of middle because a shot was fired by Config. Do it for your balls, Config. Protect them. <laughs> Don't let them get Ooh. kicked. That's all right. He's definitely thinking about them now. He's, He's wearing a cup. Yeah, well, two to find. Or a Jill at this rate. I'm not sure the way this one's getting going. I hope it's a cup for his sake as he comes back out. Jax has it. It is indeed going to be G2 on map. Series. That'll be on Friday. Nico is pushing back banana defense, and he's fine with winning that battle. Trade up mid. Glaive's got one. Runs out of bullets for the second, and the A-bomb site is open again. Nico called out two bodies there, so G2 is just going to risk it and say, no matter what, there's one person here, and this is going to be more than likely the winning plant. It's a three on four, and there's no kits. Just to note, it's Virtus Pro that G2, given the scoreline, I'm just going to conclude that would be playing as their first match in the spot. Nico's going to take down both Config and Blame F, and it is just Zippix, the sole survivor of the Spodic stage. And unfortunately, the last one to bow out of this match for Astralis. They're gone. The stars are clouded. The judgment ruined. And it is...